Every viral video has one of two things, a good title and a great thumbnail. Which is why in this video, I want to help you guys create Fortnite thumbnails that will not only help your videos get more views, but help you grow as a content creator in general. So let's get started. All right, so now what you guys need to do is you're gonna wanna choose a skin that you would like to use for your thumbnail. So I'm gonna go to my recent skins because I find that using a recent skin in a thumbnail does help it get more clicks and more views. So that being said, we're gonna use Eminem. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our settings, go to the third tab right here, which is the game tab, and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna see replays. Make sure that your replays are on. Go back to the lobby and then um, I am privileged to be able to go into a custom game. So what I do personally is I set up a custom game, but you guys can just go into a regular game, but make sure that your replays are turned on. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the first step that I do, which is getting the background for your thumbnail. We're gonna head over to this mountain right here, and then I will show you guys how I will take the screenshot. Also, by the way, I did forget to mention, um, if you're in the lobby, try to choose a emote that you would like to use for your thumbnail in case you want to do an emote in the thumbnail. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're just going to find a perfect location like this to take our background image. So you can do your emote here if you would like, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the locker emotes and we're going to do this emote right here. And then basically that's it. All you need to do is go back to the lobby. So we'll just head back to the lobby now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the replay mode. Once we get there, I will show you guys what we do next. All right. So we are now back in the lobby. So what we're going to do is we go up to the career tab. And then at the very bottom, you will see the word replays. And then what it's going to do is it's just going to load your replays. And then you're just going to easily select the last game that you were just in. So that would be this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to load into the game. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly how we take the screenshot of our background and of our Fortnite character. All right. So what I do is I'm just going to skip a little bit ahead on the timeline until... We are landing at the mountain where we wanted to take our screenshot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to drone free. I'm going to pause the game for now. I'm going to actually go down to the location. What you're going to do is you're just going to go down. And then we're going to go over and find that location that we wanted for our thumbnail. So, for example, this is going to be a pretty good location right here. We'll leave a little bit of ground so that it looks more realistic. Um, what the character is standing on. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click this little camera. Click on the clock. And then right here it says time of day. So you can change it to any single time of day that you would like. Alright, I think right here might be pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close that and then what we're gonna do is you can see this little eye right here. We're gonna click on the eye and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna take everything off of the screen. Then what you wanna do is just simply take a screenshot of what you guys see on the screen. So there's another one. Now you can also choose different times of day. So what you guys can do is just Go like this open this back up and then click on the camera and then just change the time of day just to give it a different kind of effect because you never know what you may choose once you're actually making the actual thumbnail you may want a nighttime photo which in that case just scroll this all the way to the end now we have our background okay step one is complete all right, guys, so step number two, what you're going to want to do is you're going to just open up your settings 
you're gonna make sure you are on full screen 1280 by 720 16 by 9 ratio all right now after you are in that resolution what you're gonna want to do is find the part of the game where your character is doing the emote that you have selected to do in the lobby before coming into the game so we'll just speed this up and then as soon as we see the emote right here now what we're gonna do is go back to regular time sometimes you could actually slow it down if you want depending on what the emote is doing and then what we do is we just switch this to drone free and now what you're gonna want to do is just find where your character is basically you just want to line up your camera and get the best screenshot of them doing the emote as you can um, by zooming and then what we're gonna do right now actually is we're gonna turn up the settings in our game so you want everything to look really nice so normally my game is on low just for more fps but we're gonna turn this to high and then as you see it's gonna give more detail some shadows and it's just gonna be better for your thumbnail so now the next thing that you guys can do is actually click on the camera again and you're gonna go to the time of day again and we are going to change the time of day so that we can get the best looking image of our character so what we're gonna do we're just gonna zoom in a little bit because I think this is gonna be better the more zoomed in we are so what we'll do is we'll just take this off the screen and then don't forget you can choose any angle you want all right so i'm thinking this looks probably pretty good by the way you do not necessarily need to do an emote for a thumbnail you could just stand here like this and you could just take your screenshot like this if you really wanted to you just go like that take your screenshot and then you would be good to go all right so right now because he's got the lighter hair on the darker background we should be okay to just take the screenshot like this so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this and we're gonna take a screenshot and also I'm gonna take a couple different screenshots with a different lighting sometimes I have seen where I take images like this and you know you planned on using a different background but the background just works so good with it the natural background so you could keep that but now what we're going to do, now that we've taken a few different screenshots, what we're going to do is just go back to the lobby. Alright, so normally what I do next is I will switch over to Canva. So let's switch over to there real quick. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select the screenshot that we took. We're going to throw the background image that I took and we're going to put it right into Canva. So if you're new to Canva, just head over to canva.com. Once you are on the home page, what you're going to want to do is click on YouTube thumbnail. And then, now, once you're here, what you're going to want to do is just select your image from the folder that you selected. So you can do that by going to uploads. You can go to upload files. Go to your desktop. All right, so now you're in your desktop. You just got to select the file that you would like to select. So we're going to click this one right here, click on it. And then what I do is you can drag it up here, oops, drag it right there to the corner and then stretch it out. Now this resolution is made for a YouTube thumbnail. So keep that in mind. All right. So once you have your background here, you can click on the image, click on edit. And then what we're going to want to do is you just click on see all and then you can see all the different filters that you can use for free so one of the nice ones is aria which gives a pretty bright intensity all right so once you have your background image what you need to do is i actually switch over to paint 3d which is a free software on your pc so we're going to close this 
Now what I do is I go to my desktop and I grab the image. You could right click sometimes and click edit with paint 3D. But for some reason it's been giving issues. So what I'm just going to do is I am going to double click the image, open it. I'm going to copy the image. Then we're going to go back to paint 3D. Alright, so now going to paste the image in so you can see it has pasted the image now what you're gonna want to do in paint 3d is just click magic select and then drag this over as close as you can to what you would like to take out of the image then you click the word next fix anything that you see may not be good but paint 3d honestly does a pretty good job I do see one thing right here that we could remove so you just click the remove button right there and then you just go like this and you highlight the area you don't want in the image. So what we're going to do now is just uncheck auto fill background and then now we're just going to click done. So what you do is just drag the image out a little bit from the actual image and then what we want to do is go back to Canva. On Canva what we're going to do is just right click and go paste. Or you can click Control V. Now that we have our image, we're going to drag it and make it a little bit bigger and position it on the screen how we would like it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the text box right here and we're going to click on add a heading. For this video example, we're just going to make a custom. What we're going to do is we are going to Go to effects, we're going to click on outline, we're going to give this a black outline with white text. So now once we've dragged it bigger, we can copy it and then we're going to paste this one. Now doing this is going to make sure that they are the exact same size. So we're just going to write custom games. Now we'll bring this up, bring this up. Now you can actually click shift and you can control both of them at the same time. So go like this and we're just going to write custom games like this. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Alright, so if you are happy with the thumbnail, you can change this text to anything that you would like it to say. Um, keeping in mind, there are many, many, many different styles of text that you guys can use. But you can use one as simple as this. So you would just click on here, delete this one out, click on it. And then we can also give it some effects. I like to sometimes give it like a shadow. Um, so you can give it a shadow. Uh, usually I like to make the shadow a black color. And then you can also turn up the direction. You can turn up the transparency. So you can make this a little bit darker like this, which tends to look pretty good. And then you can also add a blur, which kind of gives it that little bit more of an effect. Um, the, also, you can give it like the offset so you can go up and down. Um, I don't tend to usually do that too much, but going a little bit doesn't hurt. Just makes it kind of look more 3D. And then you can just change your text color. So we're going to change this to a white text. And we're going to write custom games. This one is one that I tend to actually use a lot. Um, so you can turn up the thickness as you guys wish. Kind of the more thick you go, the more it's going to pop. This right here looks pretty good. But what I don't like is the spacing between this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase the word games. Go back up. Now I'm going to copy the word. And I'm just going to paste it back in. And then I'm going to write games. Which now I can move this to wherever I would like. So we'll put this like right here. And we'll put custom games. And then. For something like custom games. What you might want to do is add something that is very familiar. So here on the game, if you just scroll down and you click on the custom keyword, you can actually get the custom key matchmaking box. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that screenshot that we just took 
and we are going to crop out what we do not need which is this area all right here because we would like to add a familiar looking image on the screen so that people know exactly what we're talking about so you can go like this and then you can just simply go like this and you can put this down here that way when people see it they know what you're talking about you can also give this a different color if you would like just by hitting the filters so we'll go like this and I think that honestly is looking pretty good for our thumbnail so it's very simple to understand custom games and it shows the custom matchmaking key along with a newer looking skin and if you really wanted to you could add a word that says live but I think honestly this is good so what I'm gonna do now is just lower this down a little bit and I'm gonna actually just click on the share button click download switch it to a JPEG file and just click download and there you go you literally have a thumbnail ready to go for your next stream or your video so if this video helps you guys please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and can't wait to see some of those amazing thumbnails out there